All right, people, so today we're doing a oil change on the 2019 Dodge Charger RT stock. As you can tell, we've already went ahead and lifted the vehicle up, we put it on jack stands. And I am using the Craftsman jack stand, four tons. And I try to keep it at one angle. So if you see here, you got one here, one space, another one here. And then you got the first one right there. So what you want to do is you want to line it. And then look for this little arrow. That arrow is going to tell you where to put it. Now for your jack, the location to put it, it's going to be on the secondary one right here. Don't worry about this plastic. It kind of moved around a little bit. Uh, it is pretty hard, but try to put it there. You should be good. And no space to uh, let you... Um, Slide it in there. All right, cool. Let's go to the next part. I'll show you the other side. Right there as well. This one, if you could tell, the arrow's right there pointing. And we still actually have the jack stand on there. So if you could tell, you slightly. Okay. And mine, it's barely on there. I still leave it on there just in case. And same thing with this one, it's a Craftsman uh, 410. Okay. So now if you're trying to see what type of oil the 2019 Dodge Charger RT uh, V8 Hemi uses, is SA5W20. So I went ahead and went with uh, Royal Purple. First time ever trying it out. And we ended up getting 10 quarts because this vehicle takes seven quarts. Okay, and let's see if yeah, you're able to measure it. It's here on here as well. See how much you'll need. And I'm not too sure if this is a correct filter for it. M0899. I went to AutoZone they showed me this more power one which is bigger they showed me an stp one which was way smaller so i told them i would just take this one there's a part number zero four eight eight four eight nine nine ac okay and this is going to be an original mopar filter basically telling you the steps right here Clean the top of the uh, engine, put some oil on top. Third step, put it in there, hand tighten it. Plus one, you add your oil, you check your oil, and you should be good. So, on top of that, I'm using I'm actually integrating it to add a high flow air filter from k &N. This one I did get it at AutoZone, AutoZone as well. And these two I ended up getting them at Walmart. So at Walmart, I ended up getting the five quarts for around 33, around 33 to $36 per quart. And total around 70, something with taxes for both of them. But I'll still have three quarts left for this out of one. So the next time I do an oil change, I will not need to buy two. I would need to just buy one and I'll have the leftover from this one that would complete the seven. This one, same thing, AutoZone, I got it for about $8.99. AutoZone, this one I got it roughly for, I think, $51.50 or $51, I think, or something like that. And um, yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be using today. You could tell I got the owner's manual over there. I'm trying to do this the correct way, no uh, Mickey Mouse around this. And with today, I'll be using the Duralast tool set. Basically, has everything that you'll need. So now let's go under the vehicle. So to start, so you see, it says remove for engine service. Remove for engine service right there. And then it'll tell you right there, torque bolts to 35 inches per pound. I'm not too sure what the 4 and M means. 
Okay, so to start it off, you'll be taking one screw off right here. I already took one off there. Four right there. And then five, I mean four right there. So I bet if I got confused, one, two, three, four, and they're actually numbered if you could tell, that's three. This is one and this will be number four. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start uh, taking it off. Okay, people, so we're back. Uh, I'm taking off the last one. A lot of stuff was moving, so I wanted you guys to see it. So I removed the far back one, closest to the far back last. Okay, so okay, so easily it just uh, comes off like that. And just see, if you could see, that's it. One, two, three, four. Let's put it back. We'll go underneath this. And all of this, I didn't do this, guys. I bought this vehicle used. It's uh, a rental. It was a rental. So, yeah. I take care of my baby. Too good for this to be me. Okay, so that's there. That's there. So now, let's look at the component aspect of the vehicle. So there's our filter. Yay. And I think we will be able to get the actual size out of it. Part number, I mean. It's ending in 9AB. Okay. No part, yes. And here is your oil screw right here. So I'll be checking the size to uh, let you guys know. And uh, I'm gonna be starting off with taking off this one right here. Alright peeps, so we're back, let me see, this is right here, a, oh, you got some puta madre. This is a number 13, All right guys, so it's a number 13 for the oil pan. So, you'll be using a number 13, right there. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, start taking up the wood. Alright, and what I'm using is going to be a 5 gallon. It says 5 gallon. Ah, this is 5 gallons. So it says obviously, drain pan 5 gal 18. 18 liters, about 19 liters that this will hold in. And this holds about seven, so.
Oof. So you're doing that. That's happening down there. What you want to do is come up here and take this off. If it's somewhere safe, I would say up here. Just let it uh, drain. Okay, I think it's about good. So next we're gonna start working on the oil filter. Wish me luck, hopefully it is. Uh, the exact same one. And you see it's very easy you know don't let these uh big uh dodge dealers you know trick you into going in and doing a, a service with them just because it's a sports vehicle they might try to say hey yeah you know it's a little bit harder difficult whatever um it's easy you've seen what i just did two jack stands a jack one 10 socket 10 millimeter socket one 13 millimeter socket and that's basically it. That's all you basically need. Now all you need after that is your oil, oil filter, done. So how we mentioned it, two jack stands, one jack, one 10 millimeter socket, one 13 millimeter socket. Oil, your filter, that's it, you're set. I said, go to Walmart, don't go to AutoZone. AutoZone is way too expensive. Um, if you don't know what type of oil to get, you could also call AutoZone. Uh, ask them if they could tell you which one you'll need. They'll go ahead and tell you over the phone perfectly Oil filter is kind of tricky. I would kind of buy it at AutoZone if they don't have it over at Walmart. At Walmart they did have Mopar but I did not uh, find the The number that I need and I wasn't too sure which one I needed. So that's why I went to AutoZone. It wasn't too bad. $8.99 oil filter Okay, so let's go start uh, taking off the oil filter now So 
So I want to actually take you guys up in there with me. So you guys can actually check it out while I do the removal. Uh, it was pretty rough taking out the 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 13 millimeter socket, uh, the nut. You know, it was just a little bit difficult. So I'll try to do this the best I can without dropping my phone in the way. So let's see. Oh, it's coming out like a butte. So we'll go ahead and start. I'm capping it, I'm wondering if I could do it from the top, but highly doubt it. You see how I'm kind of moving my arm out of the way from all the oil that's going to be tripping out? One, two, three. Grab it from the tip, just grab it from the tip and it won't be too, uh... Oh, damn! Woo! And if you could tell right there, I splashed a lot of oil. You should always try a little bit of cardboard underneath. A little bit of cardboard underneath goes a long way. Uh, from staining your driveway, staining, uh, cleaning your grass or whatever you're working on, whatever medium. medium. So, same thing as well, look at that side. A little bit of drip. A little bit of burn that I got right there, but. <laughs> Part, baby. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the oil filter and see what's the actual oil filter number. It looks a little bit smaller than the one that they gave me at AutoZone. So I am a little bit worried already. Just wanna let it drain out a little bit while you're doing that. Please more part gods. Let the oil filter fit. But this one looks way too small for the one that I got, so. And still don't forget about the drain, the oil drain plug. It's not on there, so it's still dripping. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, clean it up, and I'll be right back. Peeps, so here's the oil filter 0489233390B 2019 FCA, okay, 06924. So now let's go check. Oh, dang. Let's go check what we have here. Yep, totally off. And these people at AutoZone. All right, people, so we took off the filter. It was unfortunately not the one that's M0899. If you guys want to, you guys could have this one right here. And this is for the 2019 Dodge Charger RT. This is the one that came off of it. Unfortunately, I couldn't use that M0899 Mopar one. 
So what I had, I went with the uh, K&N filter HP 1017. So, pretty sure you guys all know the process. Normally, pop it open, put a little bit of oil on top. There. I already kind of cleaned it up a little bit. I don't want to be touching it too much. Okay. up there and just You just put back uh, how I said you took it in under this one. Don't worry, this has oil because uh, it went over the drip uh, on the oil that's on the actual cardboard. And the crazy part that I'm thinking that this is how it works is. See how it says one, two, three, and four. That's basically the order that you're gonna put them in. All right, so we're gonna be taking out the air filter today, uh, stock. I'm gonna be taking out these, cross or flat. One, two, three be careful because i did drop mine down there uh, let's see where's it at yeah it's down there right there you can see it broken uh you would disconnect this one you just gotta wiggle it put that off to the side okay i might have to put my phone down because i think i need to push it and okay yeah so in order to take this off you got these clips back here that are going to be stuck down there free this i did loosen this up a little bit give me a little bit of slack i don't really don't think you need to do that uh so you see you could change it from here so i'll be leaving uh taking it out and getting a new one pretty old one new one stock funky dirty fresh new already fits nice and snug two has got this one that's trash cool okay now let's see I actually went ahead and disconnected this just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. All right, peeps. So we're basically done with uh, the oil change. I had to make a little custom funnel. So, okay, we gotta put the other one first.
like this. Let's say if I W20. All right, so this is how you reset your your oil life uh, percent. So you reset it. Let's see. So you gotta press it twice, have it on run. Okay. That's it. We're all done.